What is up, fellow noobs? If you guys saw a video I made, it's been a few weeks, maybe a few months back, about the the impending rule changes in the ACL, the American Cornhole League. I had a, I shared some of my opinions on what they were gonna probably do, what it looked like from the tweet they put out, versus what I wish they would do. So I, I was a little bit of a Nostradamus. So check out this clip from that video. Now the bag change rule. I wish they would have done that. I think that's cool. You know, I always like to reference other sports, and if we're talking like golf. You got a whole bag of golf clubs. If we're looking at another niche sport or niche sport like cornhole, disc golf, you have multiple discs. You don't just have one disc. You you have multiple discs for different purposes. So it'd be kind of cool to have a mixed bag of bags where you had three regular Vipers and one Viper R, or I like some black sheet bags. So you have three Costellos and one OG2 where they have the same fast side, but that OG2 is like Velcro. And you could use that in certain situations and, manufacturers could come up with four packs of bags that you know too fast too slow and whatever i mean the combinations could be endless i think that would be really really cool is having mixed bags not just being able to change bags so i wish they would allow both of the they didn't propose the one but so this week on the addicted to cornhole page i saw a post talking about the rule changes regarding bags and what the bag manufacturers can do to cornhole bags moving forward saw it on the cornhole addicts uh website somebody shared the link on the addicted to cornhole facebook group so i clicked on it read through it and i thought it was real interesting some of the changes they've made in regards to the bags just like i talked about in that first video i made about allowing changes within a series so let's stop messing around let's pull the article up and go through it so first off cornholeaddicts.com they do a great job with that website a lot of good information on there they also sell some really really great products so check out cornholeaddicts.com no affiliation at all. Just giving them a shout out for using their article in this video. So there we go. Uh, I scrolled down a little bit to the to this area highlighted in red. The, the red text is the big change from ban, bag manufacturers or that bag manufacturers can do. So I'm going to read this to you. Uh, bag manufacturers may make three different weights of bags within the same series, provided the bag remains within the weight range of 15 and a half to 16 and a half ounces. Manufacturers must label all weight differences with a series as L for light, R for regular, H for heavy. A player may throw different weights within a set of four bags of the same series and same design. Bag manufacturers that use the friction patent may create bags with different distinct patterns as long as it doesn't violate the patent or a trademark. A patent or a trademark. Each distinct pattern is considered a series, but having similar Having a similar name like Ultra Viking or All Cornhole Evolution creates a master series. Players may throw different friction patterns within the same master series as long as the design and colors are the same. So there you have it. So let's talk a little bit about that. The, the two different things. Number one, I wasn't sure how much of a big deal the weight thing was because I, I just couldn't believe that bags were the same weight now. So, of course, I had to go to the garage, do a quick experiment, grab the first set of bags I came across threw them on my scale in the garage and weighed them each just to see what the variance is now. And none of them weighed the same as you can imagine, but they were all pretty close. They were within a 10th of an ounce, not a, not a one ounce difference. Like it's going to be allowed on the new rule change. So I'm assuming, as a matter of fact, I'm not assuming I'm the only way they can mess with the weights of these bags is to just adjust the amount of fill in each one, or maybe even the, the type of fill. There's no mention of fill. So they could change a little bit of the fill type to, to get the weight they needed, I guess but I'm, I'm going to guess they would just add a little extra fill or take a little out of their normal bag to get these different weights where that would come into play. I don't know. I guess a little fuller bag, a little heavier bag, you could bounce it and roll it easier than the bags of all the same, same weight. Uh, if you're going to push, you get a hard push coming up at the end, you know, the, belt, the board's dirtied up. There's stacks of bags there and you've saved that heavy bag for your last, last pitch, your last throw. I guess that would come into play there. That extra, half an ounce or an ounce may make a difference. I don't know. I, what do y'all think? Put that in the comments. Will that little half an ounce make a difference? I guess it could from one bag falling. That could be the difference in the match. But the part of that new update that really interests me is the different friction patterns. In my previous video, I mentioned, you know, creating like a set of bags, much like you would a set of golf clubs or a set of discs for disc golf for different purposes. So those different pr friction patterns. And I guess along with the weight differences could really, really, change the game. I mean, it adds another level of strategy to the game. Now, is it all necessary? I don't know. I'm still pretty new to this. It's, is it going to be more expensive for these special bags with the different weights? Is just this another way to try to make some money within, 
you know, the sport for bad. I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I'd love to know y'all's thoughts on that because I think it's an interesting addition, a neat addition to allow slight variances in the bag weights and the, the friction pattern on the slow side. But at the same time, you know, you got to be cautious when you're, when you're dealing with, I want to call this a new sport, but as this sport keeps getting big, really fast, it seems to be getting big fast, faster than other niche sports like this. You don't want to overcomplicate it either. You don't want to start doing too much too soon and, and putting in all these variances for different things with different rules and, and uh, specs for bags and things like that, because there's a lot of bag manufacturers out there and their standard bag is really good. But if they don't get in line and start doing these variable weights and variable friction patterns, are they going to get left behind? Do they have to do it? Uh, you know, you're making the things a little more complicated for, for the, the vendors themselves. I'm assuming this will be something probably more used by the high level pros and stuff. Your, your typical league and backyard players. I don't know that they'll go for that, but maybe they will. I don't know. I mean, in, in every other sport, we still use the same pro level equipment, even if we're not as good as the pros. So I really want to hear y'all, y'all's thoughts on this move. Was this an unnecessary move? You think it's a cool little tweak? To the, to the bag regs, please let me know in the comments. As always, as a, I appreciate y'all watching.